friends and welcome in uh, another video lecture of easy life science here i am talking about a uh, carbohydrate fermentation test and a uh, oxfam test so please subscribe my channel easy life science like the my videos and share it to your friends don't forget to press the bell icon so you will get a notification of newly uploaded video so let's start Uh, carbohydrate fermentation test or a uh, sugar fermentation test the aim of this test is to determine the ability of microorganism to ferment carbohydrate with the production of acid and or a gas principle the carbohydrates are organic molecule that contains carbon hydrogen and uh, oxygen in the ratio C H two O brackets N. Three types of carbohydrates are there: monosaccharides, disaccharides, and polysaccharides, based on their structure and number of carbon atoms present. The monosaccharides are called as simple sugars, containing a three to seven carbon atoms. Examples: fructose, glucose, and mannose. Disaccharide. comprising of a two monosaccharides linked together with the glycosidic bonds example lactose and a sucrose then the third polysaccharide polysaccharide contains eight or more monosaccharides example starch and cellulose this is about the carbohydrate the sugars or uh, monosaccharides the sugars are metabolized through a different metabolic pathway depending upon types of microbial species and aerobic or anaerobic condition the sugar can be metabolized aerobically in presence of o2 it is called as a oxidative fermentation and in absence of oxygen they are fermented if the fermenting bacteria are grown in a liquid culture medium containing the carbohydrates they may produce a organic acid as by products of a fermentation these acids are released into the medium and so lowers the ph of medium if a ph indicator such as aldehyde indicator phenol red or a bromocrystal purple is included in the medium the acid production will be change the medium's color and we can conclude that whether the organism has ability to produce or a ferment particular sugar or not gases produced during fermentation process can be detected by using a small inverted tube that is a dharyam tube and this dharyam tube is kept in a fermentation medium tube in a inverted position if the gas is produced during a fermentation the liquid medium inside the dharyam tube will be replaced by a gas in the form of a bubble the gases like carbon dioxide and o2 will be gathered in the dharyam tube they will replace the liquid medium inside the dharyam tube in form of a gas bubble if the medium changes form a colorless to yellow and a gas bubble and this condition colorless to yellow and a gas bubble this condition is for when we make a use of a indicator phenol red if we use a indicator that is a anhydride indicator then the color changes form colorless to pink and a gas bubble the gas bubble will be in a dharyam tube this indicates acid and gas production in some cases gas may not be evolved during the process if no change observed in a color of medium then sugar is not degraded by a organism then what is sugar fermentation the sugars serve as energy sources when they are baked down by a bacteria and other cells like a yeast 
a facultative aerobic and anaerobic bacteria are capable of a fermentation and anaerobic process during which sugars are broken down for uh, energy production in aerobic catabolism the final electron acceptor is the molecular oxygen whereas in a an anaerobic catabolism or a fermentation the final electron acceptor is a inorganic molecule both the process the aerobic and anaerobic catabolism may lead to a energy generation the sugar through the action of a yeast get converted into a carbon dioxide ethanol and energy this is also the example of a fermentation we can detect whether a specific carbohydrate is fermented by looking for a common end products of a fermentation when carbohydrates are fermented as a result of bacterial enzymes the following fermentation end product may be produced first it is a acid end products acid and gas end products the sugar fermentation test are designed to detect a change in the ph which would occur if a fermentation of given sugar occurred the formal acid lowers the ph of a medium which will cause the ph indicator change its color for example phenol red it changes its color to a yellow whereas the anode indicator changes its color to pink normally we make use of a anode indicator in a sugar fermentation medium so the formation of pink color shows a acid production in a medium if the bacteria do not ferment the sugar then the medium remains red this is for a phenol red but for anode indicator the medium remains colorless if the gas is produced as a by product of a fermentation then it will be collected in a dynamic tube in form of bubble the procedure the phenol red carbohydrate broth is commonly used in a carbohydrate fermentation test or uh, anaerobic carbohydrate broth is commonly used we can make use of any one from these two broth phenol red carbohydrate broth or uh, anaerobic carbohydrate broth the carbohydrates source can be varies based on your requirement the common broth media are phenol red glucose broth phenol red lactose broth phenol red maltose broth phenol red mantle broth and phenol red sucrose broth broth if you change the this sugar then the name will be changed here in all this media there is a indicated a phenol red if you add a anode indicator instead of phenol red then the name will be anaerobic dates glucose broth anaerobic lactose broth anaerobic maltose broth anaerobic mantle broth anaerobic sucrose broth the composition of a uh, media this composition is for a uh, 1 liter take a pepton 10 gram sodium chloride 5 gram beef extract 1 gram phenol red 7.2 ml of 0.25% phenol red solution and a carbohydrate here you have to take a 10 g of a glucose then it becomes a glucose broth instead of phenol red you can add a indicator as a anaerobic the importance a role of a different ph indicators are listed here three main columns are there uninoculated media after a acid production and at a alkaline condition here the ph indicators are listed the first indicated a anaerobic indicator 
in a uninoculated media means at a pH 7.1 to 7.2 the anodized indicator has a light pink color or it is colorless at pH 5 when there is an acid it has a color pink at a pH 12 to 14 at alkaline condition it is a yellow or colorless then the bromocrystal purple uninoculated media at a pH 7.4 it has a deep purple color at acidic condition it has yellow color at a pH 6.8 it has a purple color then a bromothymol blue in a uninoculated media at a pH 7 it has green color at pH 6 it is yellow colored and at pH 7.6 it is deep Russian blue colored then the phenol red at pH 7.4 in a uninoculated media it has reddish orange color in acidic condition at the pH 6.8 it has yellow color at pH 8.4 it has pink red color so we can make a any one from these four indicators for concern of a sugar fermentation test if you added a another indicator in a medium the acid production will be detected by a pink ray in case of bromocrystal purple formation of yellow color is concluded as a acid production for bromothymol blue yellow color shows a acid production phenol red yellow color shows a acid production I means these are the some interpretation of a different indicators usually in a sugar fermentation test in a last slide there was a composition of a sugar fermentation media the all the ingredients are weighed properly mixed in a 1000 liter sorry 1000 milli of distilled water they are digested by a heating gently so it get dissolved after it tubes are filled with a 4 to 5 ml of this medium that is a phenol red carbohydrate broth medium then the hems tube are inserted in a each tube for detection of gas production all the tubes are plugged with a cotton plug and placed for a autoclaving they are autoclaved at a 121 degree celsius temperature for 15 minutes in a autoclaving media is sterilized then after autoclaving remove all the tubes from uh, autoclave cool it and ready for our test The autoclave tube after uh, cooling are inoculated with a test organism and incubated at a 37 degrees Celsius temperature for 24 hours. If the organism has ability to ferment a particular sugar, then the color of medium will get changed. In this image, this tube, this tube is of a phenol red glucose broth. It is a Dharam tube. And this tube is of a phenol red glucose broth. Initially, before a inoculation of a test organism, it has a red color. After inoculation, the tubes are incubated at 37 for 24 hours. And after this incubation, there is a change in a color of a medium to a yellow. It shows a acid production and a gas bubble in a dharam tube. It shows a formation of CO2 and a, a oxygen here 
न्यूट्रन ब्रॉथ प्लस प्लस रिस्पेक्टिव शुगर रिस्पेक्टिव शुगर मे बी अ ग्लूकोज लैक्टोज मैंटॉल सुक्रोज और एनी ऑथर फॉर एग्जाम्पल न्यूट्रन ब्रॉथ प्लस ग्लूकोज फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट दिस इज अन इनोकेटेड इनिशियली दिस हैज अ फेंट रेड कलर आफ्टर इनोकुलेशन एंड इनक्यूबेशन ऑर्गेनिजम हैज एबरेट टू फर्मन द ग्लूकोज एंड कलर ऑफ मीडियम चेंजेस टू अ येलो इफ एंड्रॉइड इज इंडिकेटर इज यूज देन अन इनोकेटेड मीडिया हैज अ कलरलेस इन नेचर एंड आफ्टर इनक्यूबेशन If the organism has ability to ferment a glucose, the color will be the pink. But this is for a phenol rate, and the third tube it is a negative, no pink, uh, no yellow color, and no gas bubble in a dryam tube. Then why these tests are uh, needed? Number of uh, carbonated fermentation tests are carried out, including a uh, glucose, lactose, sucrose, mantol. रैफिनोज मैनोज फ्रुक्टोज डेक्सटोज फाइव दिज रिएक्शन और फाइव दिज टेस्ट आर रिक्वायर्ड द वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज दैट दिज आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिजम आफ्टर अवर रिजल्ट बाय परफॉर्मिंग अ नंबर ऑफ सच टेस्ट एंड नंबर ऑफ अदर बायोकेमिकल टेस्ट लाइक ऑक्सीडेट टेस्ट द एस्ट्रेस प्रोडक्शन टेस्ट अ कैटेलाइज टेस्ट or a uh, immune test by performing the test and matching the this test to a standard a uh, reference table we can see that which kind of organism it was so these test sugar fermentation test and uh, other biochemical test are useful for the identification of organism and in this table some characteristics or some biochemical characteristics of organism are listed it shows that gluc uh, e coli is lactose positive sigella dysentery is lactose negative other organism in uh, sigella fragilely are negative or, or lactose negative means this is a test results of a lactose fermentation test of a different organism a klebsiella pneumoniae is a lactose positive citrobacter fundi is a lactose negative protist mirabilis is a lactose negative means these are the standard result of the organisms then next uh, huge and lefsen test huge and lefsen test is performed by using a medium called as a huge and lefsen test medium it is also called as a oxfam test the oxidative fermentation fermentative metabolism this oxfam test or a oxidative fermentative test determines if the certain gram negative rods metabolize a glucose by fermentation or by a aerobic respiration or oxidatively during aerobic process of a fermentation the pyruvate is converted to a variety of mixed acid depending on a type of fermentation the high concentration of acid produced during a fermentation will change the bromothermal blue indicator in a oef medium from green to yellow in the presence or absence of oxygen the medium used for this test is a huge and lefsen medium and it is with a glucose sugar and a ph indicator is a bromothermal blue the ph indicator bromothermal blue it is yellow at acidic condition and at a pH 7.4 it is green colored and in this test the organism's ability to catabolize a uh, glucose by aerobically and uh, anaerobically is detected this test the oxfam test or uh, oef test was developed by a uh, scientist jews and lepsens in 1953 they developed a uh, oxygen fermentation media to differentiate between oxidative bacteria that produces a acid from carbonated under aerobic condition only and a fermentative bacteria that produces acid both under aerobic and anaerobic condition 
this is a composition for a hydrogen lipsense medium a peptone 2 gram sodium chloride 5 gram dipotassium phosphate 0.3 gram glucose 10 gram bromothymol blue 0.03 agar agar powder 3 gram a ph 7.1 plus or minus 2 Weigh all the ingredients and suspend in a 100 ml distilled water. Digest the medium on a plane and dispense the medium into a test tube. Make a duplicate of the test, test tubes. One is for aerobic and another one for is anaerobic fermentation. Aerobic fermentation tube is labeled as a oxidative catabolism, whereas anaerobic Fermentation tube is labeled as a fermentative catabolism. Then keep all the tube for a sterilization by autoclaving at a 10 LPPS pressure for 20 minutes. After autoclaving, cool the tube medium in an upright position. Then Inoculate the two tubes of oxfam test medium with the test organism using a wire loop by stabbing a half way to the bottom of the tubes. The out of two tubes, one is labeled as a oxidative fermentation and another one is labeled as a anaerobic fermentation. Sorry, oxidative catabolism and fermentative catabolism. Then the tube which is labeled as a fermentative catabolism covered with a 1 cm layer of a sterile mineral oil or a liquid paraffin. This is do for a maintenance of an anaerobic condition in a medium. An other tube which is labeled as a oxidative catabolism, it is without a such kind of sterile mineral oil. After inoculation, both the tubes tubes are kept at a 37 for 24 hours. The positive test, a color changes from green to yellow, is a interpretation for test positive. The non saccharidic organisms, this is a oxidative catabolism and this is a fermentative catabolism. This is a liquid paraffin oil layer. The organism from family Enterobacteria. They have a fermentation mode of their catabolism. Both the tubes show a yellow color for a member of family Enterobacteria, but for a Pseudomonas, they are only a carrying a oxidative catabolism. The only one tube that is a, which tube is labeled as a oxidative catabolism turns its color to a yellow, and other tube, the fermentative catabolism tube, remains as a green. So this test can be useful for a differentiation of Pseudomonas from other Enterobacteria. Fermentative result, acid production in both tubes, open and cover tube. The acid produced changes the pH indicator bromothymol blue from green to yellow, for example, Isresha coli. The oxidative result, acid production in open tube, that is in an anaerobic tube and not in an oil cover tube, that is in an anaerobic tube, indicates a oxidative results. Non-fermenting bacteria that metabolize glucose via oxidative metabolism give an oxidative result, for example, Pseudomonas aerogenesa. Non-saccharolytic or a negative OF result. Non-saccharolytic bacteria gives a negative OF result. The negative result is indicated by no color change in an oil covered tube and in some cases increase in the pH, changing bromothermal blue from green to blue in a top of an open tube. The increase in the pH due to a, a mine production by a bacteria that break down a peptone present in a medium, for example, alkylation fecalis. Uses oxfam test is used to determine if the gram negative bacteria metabolize carbonated oxidatively or by a fermentation fermentatively, or these are non saccharidic, having a no ability to use the carbonate present in a medium. A limitation of this test, this test 
is due to a general purpose and may not support the growth of a fasciolus organism because in this medium there is a, a glucose sugar and this not provide a growth of fasciolus organisms interpretation of results here open or a aerobic tube second column is of a covered or a anaerobic tube at the interpretation of a metabolism if a open tube turn to a yellow that show a acid production and a covered tube is green colored that is a alkaline condition then the it is a oxidative metabolism both the tubes open aerobic tube as well as covered the anaerobic tubes having yellow color having acid in medium then it is a fermentative catabolism both the tubes are green in colored then the metabolism is a non saccharidic glucose is not metabolized so this is a interpretation so thank you thank you for watching me please subscribe my channel easy life science like the my video share it to your friends and press the bell icon so you'll get the notification of my newly uploaded video